We have uh, some breaking news now. In the last hour, a court in Rwanda has found the former hotel manager who is credited with saving hundreds of people during the 1994 genocide guilty of terror-related crimes. Paul Rusisa Bagina, whose actions inspired the Hollywood movie Hotel Rwanda, was accused and charged with terrorism. He had of late become a vocal critic of the president, Paul Kagame, arrested last year as well after a plane bound for Burundi instead landed in the Rwandan capital, Kigali. Let's take you to our Africa correspondent, Catherine Bayahunga, who joins us now from Nairobi. Catherine, what happened in court? Hi, good afternoon, Lucy. Well, proceedings have been ongoing at the High Court in Chigali for over two hours now. But Mr. Paul Rusabajina is not in court he, himself. He stopped attending the proceedings, saying that he doesn't believe he'll get a fair trial in Rwanda. But this trial has continued, and today he has been found guilty on several for several terrorism-related crimes. So the judges in Rwanda say that he's been found guilty of founding an illegal armed group that's called the National Liberation Front. They say he's also been funding his fighters. Now they say that the National Liberation Front went on to carry out several attacks in southwest Rwanda which killed up to nine people and that property was damaged as well. Now this is a very different image that we all have of Mr. Paul Rusesabajina from the Hotel Rwanda movie where he was portrayed as a hero saving hundreds of ethnic Tutsis who were targeted during the genocide in Rwanda. But now what the government is saying is that he turned from being a political opponent into an armed actor. Now his family have strenuously denied the allegations and now this uh, pronouncement of guilt. They have the option of appealing this judgment in the, through the courts in Rwanda. But their main focus really is to get international support behind Mr. Rusa Sabajina. They say that he is a Belgian citizen, that there should be some support from the Belgian government. But they say governments like the United States that have celebrated and decorated Mr. Rusa Sabajina in the past also should have leverage over the Rwandan government to see if that if these this verdict could be overturned and maybe if he could be released from prison in Chigali. Catherine, thanks so much for the update. Live in Nairobi for us.